Hello everybody, I'm back. So today I am going to be talking about the handspring. And I've been telling you I have to brush up on my um, Aisha and I wanna learn how to do the handspring. So, <laughs> as you can see behind me, I have covers and pillows because I do not have a mat. I do not have a professional mat something that can catch you when you fall. So I put a lot of covers and pillows. And let me tell you the reason, and I know you're probably like, well, you don't use pillows and covers any other time. Okay. A lot of the pole tricks I do, I've been doing the same as that pole tricks for years. I don't need, or it doesn't require pillows or anything. Another thing, in my whole 17 years of dancing, I never fell. I never fell. Doesn't mean that I'm gonna fall now, but I'm a little nervous about this pole trip because most of the pole tricks that I do require for me to put my my use put lean my entire body on the pole. As far as let's say you do a split in the air on the pole, majority of my body is on the pole. Um, for instance, hanging upside down. My leg is wrapped around, but you get me, but the rest of my body is near the pole. You must say everything is against the pole. Um, for instance, when I go upside down, with maybe my um, um, legs extended outwards, uh, I got both of my hands on the pole. My body is also leaning on the pole because I'm back, so my thighs is the poles in between my thigh. You have majority of your body on the pole. I have majority of my body on the poles and most of the pole tricks that I do. Now, as far as the Aisha and the handspring, these are two tricks where your body is not against the pole. Your body is away from the pole. So all I'm going to be using is my two hands. So I never did a trick, these two tricks, or, or you know, or did a trick where I didn't have to use most of my body <laughs> so that's probably another reason why i never fell and i don't know i just never fell like in the club we drink you know some girls i seen fall some girl i just never fell there's one time i did trip i tripped up on my heels but i caught myself i almost took an l and then there was another time when i spent around the pool and my wig flew off and i got tipped more money <laughs> they were like oh our wig flew off and then they were like but you kept going here go 20 30 dollars like you know i got tipped extra but i never ever fell in my whole life and i don't plan on starting out now when i was learning and teaching myself how to do the aisha at the other apartment there was times where i felt i was about to fall and i was upside down but i slid down slowly Slowly, I'd be like, oh, it's not about to fall. And I just slowly slid down, upside down, until I got to the bottom. And then, I, you know what I mean? I went to the ground. But I never fell. Now, because I'm realizing that this trick is a little harder for me because I'm not, the only thing I'm using is my two hands. This is the only trick. These two tricks, you just use your two hands. And you don't use any other part of your body, which I'm used to doing. So... Uh, I want to be a little bit cautious. <laughs> um, cautious. So, I don't think I'm going to fall, but it's just the case. So, I don't want to fall, hurt myself, and then I can't teach y'all anything for a while because I'm healing. <laughs> so, um, and this trick, if the only pole trick that I do is when I'm away from the pole is when I'm walking in the air. And that's the only trick I do when my body's away from the pole, but you're standing upright. It's different from being upside down and being upright. Totally two different things. So I'm gonna practice. I wanna do the handspring. Like I'm just dying to get this and I'm like, oh my gosh, what do I gotta do? I know it's something about twisting my hand. I don't know if that feels comfortable, but I'm gonna get it. So um, I'm gonna try it a few times. Let's see if I can do it. Wait, I might have to turn this video off and start another one and I'll start another video because I got to clean the pool and stuff. It's dirty. It's kind of, I don't want to be slipping and sliding and I got to wash my hands, make sure there's up to my, and make sure there's no oil on me. So I'll see you on the next video. I'm going to be practicing the Aisha and the handspring.